obviously just so proud of our football team uh, to find our way back uh, to our uh, to our second con- uh, conference championship game in the last two years. Uh, the the things that we've seen throughout this year, uh, some of the adversity that's shown up uh, you at one point one and three in conference play, and um, you know, went into a bye week, uh, continued to, to to build off what. Uh, what the culture and the values of our program are, and you know our guys did an incredible job of responding to win our last four, uh, to to make it here to the championship game. It's a, it's an incredible feat, and uh, we know that we're going to be playing an outstanding opponent here uh, in Central Florida, a team that has has been dominant uh, you know, throughout the season, but throughout the last two years, and uh, to be able to come back to Orlando for uh, for one game and one opportunity to be the American Conference champions, uh, our kids are extremely excited, and uh, we're honored to be in this position. You know, I think I think each experience is, is unique to itself, and uh, what our team has been through, the way they've matured throughout this this season, um, you know, it, it has been a special journey. And uh, you know, I know last last week uh, when we when we were able to defeat Houston, it was a it was a, a wide range of emotions, and uh, knowing that we'd be coming back to Orlando, an opportunity to uh, to compete against one of the best teams in the country, a top ten opponent, uh, you know, you know, here in 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 with the opportunity to achieve one of the goals that we set out for at the beginning of the year, I mean, you can't ask for much more. And uh, you know, I believe every experience that we've had has helped prepare us for this opportunity. Uh, you walk in, you see that trophy, and uh, you know, that's, what, that's what we aspire to, uh, to achieve tomorrow. And uh, we know it's going to be a great challenge. Um, you know, we're looking forward to the matchup, and uh, you know, our, team, our team has done a, done a wonderful job in preparing uh, for the chance to kick it off there tomorrow. Uh, you know, I, I absolutely hate it for that young man. Uh, you know, when I saw the injury, I, mean, it was, I was truly heartbroken because, uh, you know, getting a chance, you know, when you play in this conference, you know, we played, we played UCF three times in the last two years. And uh, so I've got, got a chance to, to compete against one of the greatest competitors in college football. And, uh, you know, every time I've, I've had the opportunity to be around him, whether it's media day or whatever the event was, uh, just such a genuine young man. And, uh, so you, you you hate to see anybody go down, but you know, somebody of, of his uh, you know of his status of what he's done and how how he impacts so many, um, you know. Now coming into this game, um, you know, obviously we're preparing to to go out there and compete against the Central Central Florida football team, and that's what this is a special team that we're playing. And uh, you know, you obviously there's a lot of great individuals, but uh, you know what the how they've responded to any adversity they've seen, you know, the way that they've uh, continued to grow as as a program, you know, through a coaching change from last year to this year and and some of the things that they face this year um you know it's it's impressive to watch so uh you know you know injuries are are, are a part of the game unfortunately so you got to prepare for whoever steps on that field and uh, you'll go out there and put your best foot forward and you know i know our team's excited about the the opportunity to do that along those lines how do you prepare your team for what's probably going to be an emotional start to that game uh here in front of a home crowd that's definitely going to be thinking of mckenzie and, and yeah, you know, I mean, anytime you play in a championship uh, you know, caliber game, uh, you know, which we've been fortunate the last couple of weeks, we've had, you know, high emotions because we, it's been, you know, we had to win to have the opportunity to get to this point. And so, um, you know, we've got to just truly focus on ourselves. Don't get distracted by anything on, on the outside, whether it's the, uh, you know, the crowd, whether the, the, the weather, anything that might show up, uh, you know, we've got to stay focused on, on doing our job. And our, our team has, has really, uh, you know, I, I think they've grown so much through every experience. Uh, last week against Houston we started off we were probably uh, you know a little emotionally geared up to start that game didn't play our best ball there those first couple series but then when we calmed down and got into the flow of the game I thought we responded at a high level so it's going to be a lot the same tomorrow we know there's going to be momentum swings just like any time you go on the road uh, you've got to be able to control what you can control and just stay focused on doing the job and the task that's at hand and so you know I think our team will be ready for that and uh, you know, heck we face diversity all, all through the season so uh, you always know, got to build off those experiences that we faced.
Oh, it'd mean everything. And uh, you know, opportunity to, to represent the West Division in back-to-back -back years uh, is something we take a great deal of pride in because it is it is a challenge. You know, there's a lot of great football teams in this league. Um, you know, you know, each week you've got to bring your A game, and uh, you know, for our team to, to be able to battle through uh, to find our way in the championship game for in consecutive years, it is a heck of an accomplishment. And uh, you know, coming into this game, uh, no matter what the journey looked like, you know, it comes down to one game, it comes down to 60 minutes, and uh, uh, you know, the, the winner of tomorrow's contest is going to hoist that trophy and uh, that is something that uh, um, you know our kids are passionate about we know that that could, that that would be a sim symbolic moment for our for our football program and continuing to, to the progression of where we want to go uh, here in the long term for our future but uh, but I'm really I'm really proud that we have the opportunity and been able to to get to this point You know, it's it's really not to be honest with you. I mean, you know, our focus is on this game. Uh, you know, we we look back at the experience of playing them. You know, this you know during the season, and we we have to be better than what we were. Uh, you know, there uh, at the midpoint when we faced them in Memphis. And so, um, you know, at the end of the day, if you have to, you don't. We shouldn't need to motivate our guys with anything on the outside. We're playing for the American Conference Championship. We're playing the top ten team in the country. Um, and uh, you know, it's going to be a heck of a heck of a game. It's going to be a heck of a matchup. You know, obviously, uh, you know, we've we have been here before. We are familiar with the personnel uh, that we're going to go up against, uh, but we're also familiar with the challenge that it's going to be. So um, at the end of the day, uh, I've been very pleased with how our, our kids have approached this week. Um, you know, they came out, they practiced uh, you know, at an elite level uh, throughout it because we know that if, if we, the only chance we have to be successful is that we had to, we had to maximize on every opportunity building to this game. And you know, I believe that we've been able to accomplish that, and you know, we're excited to kick it off tomorrow. You know, I've seen this team mature, and uh, you know, coming into the, into the season, um, you know, there were expectations. You know, we all had high expectations of, of getting to this point and being able to play in this game. But uh, you, you know, we knew there was also going to be challenges. When you only have eight seniors, uh, it's the smallest senior class I've ever been around. Uh, you had to see guys really emerge as, as the leaders uh, within the leadership of our football team, and seeing guys like Demonte Coxy, you know, uh, uh, your running backs, Daryl Henderson, Patrick Taylor, Tony Pollard, um, you know, guys, JJ Russell. Russell, Bryce Huff, that uh, you, know, you know, even though they're they're not seniors, they've had to really establish themselves as go-to guys and, and somebody that can be counted on when things maybe aren't going well for us. And that's what I've enjoyed more than anything else is seeing a team that is that has learned from some of the disappointments, uh, some of the setbacks, and they've been able to apply the correction uh, and put it into into action there on game day to to be able to get back to this point. I tell people all the time, you know, football is a is a, the greatest example of what life is going to be. You know, like everybody pictures a fairy tale of what it is to get to, to, to be successful, but you know, it doesn't work out that way all the time, and you have to be able to respond, and you control, you control how you respond to every situation, you control how you prepare, and you control the belief in you have uh, with the culture that, that we've been able to establish, and so seeing all that play, play through, I think that helps us for tomorrow's contest, because you'll see all those emotions show up again through, through this 60-minute uh, contest that we're going to have. You know, he's a talented young man. Uh, you know, obviously, he's got great size, you know, over 230 pounds. Uh, he's got great speed. And you watch the East Carolina game, which he started you know, on the road. Uh, you know, he's definitely a dynamic player with the ball in his hands. So he's got a strong arm, can push the ball down the field. Uh, you just, uh, I guess when you look at the, the grand scheme of it, he is a redshirt freshman. He doesn't have uh, the experience and the number of snaps of, of uh, uh, you know, a guy that's usually playing in this game. But uh, you know, he's been very productive. And you look at their team, the two contests which he's played extensively, Extensive snaps in have both been on the road against you know quality uh, opponents in adverse situations, and he is he's done a great job, and the team has rallied around him. Uh, you know both dominant victories. I think it was 37 to 10 against East Carolina and 38 to 10 last week against South Florida. And so uh, this this team you know, definitely has has a great belief in him. You have to adjust. I mean you have to adjust some things, but he can operate their system. Uh, you know, is he going to be Mackenzie Milton taking, uh, you know, taking the snap and being able to do all the different things? Uh, you know, I don't know. We don't have a we don't have a big enough uh, a sample size to tell. But I can tell you, he's very talented and he can do a lot of great things for him. And he's surrounded by a, a wonderful supporting cast.
excited that they're getting another crack at you? Today? Well, I mean, we're excited that we're in this game. And, uh, you know, when when you're two of the top programs in a the league, then you get a chance to play against each other in multiple times. Uh, there's a healthy respect. And, uh, you know, our, our games have been incredible. You know, you talked about the, uh, the, the championship game last year, obviously the one-point game here this year. Uh, we, know, uh, we know that this is going to be a game that's going to come down to one play. And so uh, to say rivalry, I don't know about that. I mean, you know, I think, I think that uh, it's a game of two great football teams that have done what's necessary to get to this point. And, uh, you know, I know for the American Conference, it's six exciting game and it's a uh, it's a it's a definitely a, uh, a tribute to what's what's going on in our league you know as, as we've been able to push and gain that national relevance uh, because of the way that, that these teams have played Well, I can tell you that uh, you know I know I know we're excited about the opportunity, and uh, you know this. Uh, the, I'll tell you the one thing about the American Conference is that you know every opportunity we step on the field, no matter what team shows up, uh, there's going to be a high standard and, and, and a high level of competition and performance. We've got great coaches, we've got great players. Um, you know, you're going to turn on uh, your ABC here tomorrow, and you're, if you're no matter where you are in the country, and you're going to see a great brand of football. And so uh, this is a championship game, and you know, either team can win. Win. Either team, this is the, probably the two most uh, competitive teams that, uh, that that our league has to show at the present moment, and uh, you know, we're definitely excited for the opportunity. I, uh, you know, for whatever whatever feelings go beyond that, I I don't I don't know. I just uh, I know our team's ready to go out there and compete for a championship. <laughs> You know, things people forget, you know, everybody talks about the streak and how many wins they've been able to stop. Well, this, they're in year one with their coaching staff. And to see the growth, the confidence that they have playing within the scheme, I, th I believe uh, you know, Coach Heupel and his staff have done a great job. And you can see their team growing in what they're being asked to do. And there, were, there is some carryover from last year to this year. But, you know, their, their guys are playing faster. They, they, there's, a, there's a great trust that's been uh, uh, established throughout, this, throughout their journey. And so uh, they are playing at an elite level. And you, you watch what, what they've done on the field the last few weeks. It's, it's impressive. And, you know, our guys, you know, we have a, a very healthy respect for what we're going to, who we're going to go against and what we're going to see tomorrow. So it's definitely going to take our best effort. You know, he's excited about the opportunity. And, uh, you know, I've said, you know, throughout the year, Brady prepares as well as probably any player I've ever been around. Uh, you know, he, he, he understands the, the role that he has. And he's got to lead, lead an offense that you know, does have a lot of weapons. And, uh, you know, we're going to be multiple in what we do. Uh, we've got some, some dynamic players, you know, on the perimeter. And he's got he's to do a great job of controlling the game. Uh, you, we need to be efficient in the passing game. Hopefully we'll be able to hit some, some explosive plays on the perimeter. But, you know, one of the things that we need to improve on is, you know, we, we've got to own the football. And the last couple of weeks, we've turned the ball over uh, for a variety of reasons. But uh, we know that's going to be a big factor in this game. Uh, UCF's plus 16 on the year in turnover margin. You know, obviously, uh, we're only plus two. You know, that, that's pretty indicative of why they, they, they haven't lost any games and why they've had a couple setbacks. So, um, you know, for us, it's, it's about uh, you know, going out there and playing clean football. I know Brady's excited. Our, our team has full, uh, full confidence in what he's going to do in leading our, leading our offense and this football team. And, you know, we're looking forward to it. Yes, sir. I mean, that's something we had a, we had a um, kind of a commemorative ball for this game. And, uh, you know, it's just uh, for McKenzie just to tell him that, uh, you know, we he's in our thoughts and prayers. And uh, we wish him, to, you know, all the best and a speedy recovery. Um, you know, I, I mentioned him as, a, uh, as one of the greatest competitors in college football. And, uh, you know, I've been around this game for a, for a good while, and I've seen, I've been able to compete against a lot of great, uh, great athletes. And, you know, he is so impactful in all that he does, not just on the field 
you watch the watch the way that people respond to him, and, and I, this is because of my experience at media days and being around him. Uh, I've got a lot of respect for that young man. And when I say it was heartbreaking to see him go down, uh, you hate seeing good, you know, you know, adversity show up for for really good people. And uh, but I know he's going to respond. And I, you know, as a football team, we wanted to have a gesture just to say that we're we're there in full support of a speedy recovery for him because I, I know he's going to continue to impact this game and, con- and going to have a a great recovery here in front of him. And we just wanted him to know that that our thoughts and prayers were with him. All right, guys, thanks so much.